You are now listening to Crossfire with Sean and Junso. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about the weirdest and most bizarre places on Earth. These is uh, places that are naturally occurring as a criteria because Vanessa wanted to include one place that was not naturally occurring. <laughs> Which is ex- so natural. Dwarves are natural. Okay? Yes, but they were herded into that village, <laughs> weren't they? One hundred percent natural. Yes, but the village wasn't because they herded everybody there, so it's not natural. The this shire. is natural. It's called the Shire. The Shire. Fine. Yes. Fine. The Shire. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna <coughs> go off and tell about a few of these places. One is Mount Roraima in Brazil. Now. Look at a picture of it. Yeah, it looks like something from Avatar. Yes. The floating, the floating it's island. It's basically a mountain with no peak. It has a big flat plateau. And it's it look, the clouds. Yes. And it, it looks like a sandwich on top of a sandwich on top of a sandwich. It's basically like stairs. <laughs> <laughs> stairs. <laughs> vertical stairs. But it's completely natural. Unless some old god decided to make like a throne long time ago and sit on this place. But the weird place to think about this is you expect a mountain like this to have no trees and plants and everything like that. But you can see there's a lot of... Uh, oh, you can't see. Oh, you can't see, but <laughs> I'm telling you, just imagine. Close your eyes, imagine. Unless you're driving, then don't. That the <laughs> place is full of vegetation and wildlife. Oh, but, what? I th- but I think I know. I can explain this somehow. How? How? Yes, how? Hanuman. No. <laughs> Hanuman? Yeah, well, there he was sliced <laughs> the top of the mountain. Yeah, there was a flower on this mountain some, huh? some time ago. Yes. And it was uh, tasked to go get that flower from said mountain. Yes. And instead of being the good boy he is. Yes. Instead, carted the mountain back home. <laughs> so perhaps this is why it's. Flat. And then he put the mountain in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, this it was is the bit that's left behind. Oh, oh right, 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 right. <laughs> so he took a portion of this mountain back to India. <laughs> back to Ramayana. <laughs> I'm not sure where. South yeah. India. <laughs> Ramayana might have been on holiday in yes. and the French Riviera. You don't know. Yes. And go fly, Hanuman. <laughs> give me the mountain. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Point one to uh, Edward over there. <laughs> yeah. Next one is the fly geezer. Would anyone like to describe Geyser. what you're looking at? <laughs> geezer. <laughs> yeah, so but it looks like a geezer. I'm so yeah, thingy. The if you get no geyser. Okay, no. So, fly geyser in the uh, United States. It's oh, it's all colorful. It's yeah. very colorful. It, it's basically three geysers. Imagine three geysery rocky thingies, <laughs> and then there's water spouting out of them. But the water doesn't stop. It's continuous. It looks like something from what you call it, Wizard of Oz. Or oh, if you really want to look at it. Yes. It's like very mm. lumpy phallic though. That's, I yes. Mean, <laughs> if it looks like that, you should go to the doctor. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's diseased phallic. Yeah. And it's shooting water. <laughs> water? Yes, water. Uh, <laughs> water. Uh, water. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they say 1960, uh, 1961, 1916, a well had been drilled into the ground, which uh, served its purpose for more than 45 years. However, in the 1960s, hot water began shooting out of the well. The dissolved salts are gradually built up into a huge, colorful mound that keep gushing out water that reaches 5 feet. Only 5 feet. Uh. Hey, this must be tiny-looking geezers. <laughs> it's not open to the public, but uh, it's still a... Weird flag geezer. I uh, hear it has to be at least six feet to be considered a big. geezer. <laughs> no big. A geyser. A geyser. Stop saying geezer. Geezer. All right. Next one is the Bermuda Triangle. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you just said triangle. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> no list complete without the baffling mystery of the Bermuda Triangle in the Atlantic <laughs> Ocean. Okay, so everybody knows where the. Bermuda Triangle is. Mm-hmm. It's in the triangle between Bermuda, <laughs> Miami, and San Juan. Next to the square and circles. Next to the Bermuda Square, the Bermuda Circle, the Bermuda X, which make up the uh, <laughs> control of a PlayStation, <laughs> which the aliens left behind. So, okay, for years and years and years, pe- there have been a lot of aircraft and uh, ships that have gone missing while trying to cross the Bermuda Triangle. Everybody uh, has come up with theories 
and stuff like that. But a very smart man by the name of Neil deGrasse Tyson actually told us how and why the ships went missing in the Bermuda Triangle. Yes, over coffee the other day, he told us. He told us on the internets, oh, on the YouTubes, okay. and I caught it. Okay. So now I'm going to pretend to be smart okay. and ask everybody, what do you think happened in the Bermuda Triangle? For it to be the to place s- where... Ships and aircraft go missing. <laughs> 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 Could that happen? It's a monster. It came out from the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to guess it's just a giant body of water. That's where it happens. If a plane is going to crash and be missing, that's where it's going to happen. But so many planes and so many boats went missing. Isn't that where a lot of planes cross? <laughs> what, am I, am yeah, I no, yeah, 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 you're yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly correct. Right. Like, boo, okay. you see? Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Uh, okay, uh, basically, the the there's so much traffic there that when they counted how many boats got lost everywhere else mm-hmm. and they took like the percentage, it was exactly the same in the Bermuda Triangle. Right. It was the exact same number of boats that crashed. Mm-hmm. The percentage was exactly the same. Yeah, I could be Neil deGrasse Tyson, y'all. I could host I thought I was going to be smart But <laughs> someone outsmarted me Damn <laughs> you <laughs> Oh don't cry I don't get to wear the smart hat don't today Don't cry Shan <laughs> Don't cry okay. I will cry for Argentina It's okay The smart hat looks like an octopus <laughs> Okay next is the Blood Falls in Antarctica mm-hmm. oh, Ant no. driving a very cold car No, no. <laughs> The car fell to the world triangle <laughs> So, okay, this place is very alien and bizarre because the waters that flow from this particular glacier is reddish, blood reddish in hue. Mm -hmm. And that's because a lot of iron oxide Mm -hmm. is inside the water. So, this whole snowy glacier thingy has this red blood dirty water flowing. I'm sure you can see the same thing in Clang somewhere. <laughs> Dirty water flowing and it Basically. never named it anything except it's the Clang River. <laughs> Basically it's the Clang River. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh damn. Yeah. Looks weird to look at because it's so huge yeah. but. And also because it's on white. All the snow. Yeah. The snow right? Yeah it is snow. So if we had a mm-hmm. white longkang in Malaysia then it would look exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Well yeah. they started it out white. <laughs> <laughs> okay Vanessa take it from here. Oh, why? Because you cannot pronounce, right? No, I'm running out of breath. I still cannot pronounce it. Okay, good. Travertine <laughs> Pools of Pamukale. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but... Or Pamukail, Turkey. There is a, a group of small pools that are snow-covered that result from calcium carbonate deposits. What's it look like? It doesn't look that bizarre. It looks yeah. like a bunch of white staircase. Yeah, yeah. It looks but like... But naturally for me. It looks yeah, like... In Turkey, it looks like a... Oh, in Turkey. Cake. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, it is like a wedding it cake. Like a wedding cake, but it oh, looks yeah. like ice steps. The yes, very like pebbly and eh, quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> Calcium carbonate deposits. That's yeah. what they are. They have they're, it cute. They're <laughs> cute, yes. Cute rocks. <laughs> oh, wait, they're byproducts of what? Byproducts of seventeen natural hot springs. Ooh. Uh, and yes, these travertine pools arranged in the form of terraces. Ah, that's what it looks like. Terraces. Anything but cold. With a temperature that might go up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh! Sorry, sorry. So 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it looks like it's snow, but it's actually a hot water pool, but that's all just calcium, calcium carbonate. carbonate. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So that's why it looks so bizarre. Mm-hmm. Oh, calcium carbonate is chalk, no? Yes. So that's all yeah. chalk? It's chalk, yeah. Oh. Chalky stairs. <laughs> chalky stairs. Chalky stairs, yeah. That's what it should be called. No, don't talk about chalky chalky. Okay, next one is the Eye of Satan in Mauritania. Eye of Satan. What, uh, what's it actually, Sean? <laughs> the Eye of Sahara. <laughs> it looks like the Eye of Satan. Okay. It's in the desert, of course, Sahara. It looks like a quarry, actually. It looks like an eyeball. It's like a, like a swirl. Like yeah. It looks like a spaceship crashed into it. <laughs> this is the it is. setting for the Bond movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, like it is. Like yeah, it's Spectre, yeah. 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 Some say it was caused by asteroids. Some people say this is a spot Lucifer fell. Mm-hmm. We'll never know the <laughs> truth. Okay, so next one, Jensen, Magnetic Hills. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a few places actually. Um, New Brunswick and Ladakh, India. 
And what they say is that uh, certain rare occasions you might find your car going uphill without you driving it. It's like some kind of a uh, twilight zone. Oh, that's I, I know also. what's the mystery here. It's near Magneto's house. <laughs> yes. He's staying on top of the hill, He's right? He's staying on top of the hill. Why does he have properties in all those places? <laughs> Why is Magneto in Ladakh, India? <laughs> he likes the he likes the view. It's all green <laughs> and nice. There's no metal around. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the car. Except for the car. So anytime there's a car he wants to play with them, he just goes Woo <laughs> And they go uphill. That's pretty cool though. Could they just do that everywhere that you wouldn't have to drive your car? They'd just be like Woo <laughs> Save your patrol. Magnets. <laughs> oh, more balls. Oh, balls on the beach. Balls on the beach. It's Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> New yes, scenes. numerous mammoth boulders, Baywatch, <laughs> scatter around <laughs> the place. Balls on the beach, Baywatch. Koi Kohe? Koi Kohe Beach? Koi Kohe. I'm saying that right. Koi Kohe Beach. Koi Kohe, New Zealand, on South Island. It's a rare sight to watch. <laughs> yeah, balls on the beach. He looks like some more dinosaur's egg. Oh, <laughs> they grow as big as 12 feet mm-hmm. in circumference. Ah. That's twice my height. Mm-hmm. Sediments accumulating and solidifying around a fossil at a central element. That's a lot of big words over there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's some ghoulies of a giant. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's why it is. It's the ghoulies of a giant. <laughs> All right. Next, uh, the Eternal Flame Falls. Sounds like a movie. The Eternal Flame Falls. Orchard Park, New York. Is it Eternal Flame the name of a mango song? Oh, it was uh, Atomic Kitten. Atomic Kitten? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what? No, didn't they cover some older songs? Oh, maybe, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I this is in a waterfall. There is some kind of holy thingy that Methane <laughs> is escaping from. Holy thingy. Holy thingy. Yeah. thingy. That means it's a hole, not secret. <laughs> that <laughs> Methane is escaping from. So the whole surface is flammable. So people have lit a flame there. And then it just keeps burning. Sometimes it gets uh, doused by the fire, I mean the, by the water. But then somebody is just walking around and then just lights it again. Oh. So it's uh, eternal flame unless uh, water turns it off, whereby someone comes around and lights it again. Ah. That should be the not so eternal. Not so eternal flame. <laughs> I think it must be the atomic kittens fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's an eternal flame. Eternal flame. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the song. That's the song. That's the old song. Yeah, they read. The they covered it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, where is uh, Stonehenge, your favorite? Oh, the biggest henge in the, the world. world. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean Stonehenge is pretty famous. Bunch of giant stones stacked up. No one knew who a, did it. No one knew who did it. Yes. Lots of strange theories. Uh, according to Eddie, is it carried over? No, actually, they say it was carried over by the druids. Could, yeah, yeah, by the druids. You could carry it over and stack it up. How but long nobody long knows. We have to get there. Nobody knows. Yeah, <laughs> nobody knows why they're there, or what they do, what purpose they serve. Maybe the druids wanted a contract to the Romans. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and, con- and then the, the Romans Roman contract. Pay. Yeah, like Caesar, we could build your palace. <laughs> Look what we did. We can stack three rocks in a in a thingy. We got two go up, one on top. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next is the stone forest in Shilin. Yo, I'm Shilin, yo. <laughs> in Yunnan province of China. <laughs> so, the Shilin forest is basically... A stone coal forest. Yes, made of rocks and Give forest. A, oh, so towering limestone formations over 96,000... Over 96,000 acres looking like a forest made of grey stones. Yes. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. And I guess that wraps up all the weirdest places on Earth. Well, besides the sailing stones of Death Valley, where stones just slide Sailing. around all over Death Valley and make it look very creepy because they leave a trail behind. Mm-hmm. And that's it! Weirdest places in the world besides Clang. Tune in every Friday to catch Sean and Junson on Crossfire, only on Duran Asian.